Hey everyone, it's Victor Didao. Today I want to talk about a career criminal who later became a successful businessman. His name is Walden Long. Now in 1996, Walden Long was in prison and then he found out his father had passed away and it grieved him a lot. He became very you know, uh, sad and he realized he had been wasting his life as a, as a criminal. Plus he had a baby son he, he did not have any kind of relationship with and he realized he wanted to change his life and become a better person. The problem was he had seven years to go on his prison sentence. So he decided he still needed to do something. So what he did was every day he worked on becoming a better person. He worked on improving his mindset, visualizing the kind of life he did. And he did this for seven years. He also worked on getting a bachelor's degree as well as an MBA while he was still in prison. And every week he would write a letter to his son to have a relation with him while he was still in prison and that he would continue once he got out. And in 2003, you know, he, 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 he finished his sentence and started looking for a job. It took a while for him to get a job because a lot of people would not hire ex-cons, but eventually one company gave him a shot, a small air conditioning company, and he became its top salesman. So, and he was so successful within the year, he started his own air conditioning company, selling you know ACs. He had his son move in with him, and he later married a woman who he's happily married to. And since then, Walden Long has become an extremely successful businessman and motivational speaker. Plus, very often he goes to prisons to talk to inmates to give them encouragement to realize that they can change their lives too. Now, I tell you about Walden Long because he's someone that can give you inspiration if you struggle in your life. This guy had everything going against him. He was a career criminal. He had seven years to go on his sentence, and yet he never gave up. He worked on becoming a better person, and he eventually became a, a big success. And if someone like him could do it in, those, in that kind of situation, that is someone you you also can do the same thing. I highly recommend reading Walden Long's book, The Power of Consistency, because he talks about how he changed his life, how being a consistent person made him a better and successful person, and how he overcame those seven years in prison to have the kind of life he lives now. If he can get that kind of life, you can get it too if you desire it and if you are consistent with your actions. This is Victor signing off. I'll see you at the top. Have a great day.